Aging is the process in which your body changes over time. And usually that, that is looking at the breakdown of things. For example, uh, you know, your muscles getting weaker or smaller, your eyesight getting worse, your heart not pumping as well. Basically, when you look at the big picture, it's looking at how all of your organs begin to diminish in their function over time. Besides time, there are definitely a few things that will speed up the process of which you age. Lifestyle is definitely one of them. So the amount of stress you have on your body, the type of foods that you eat and how much you eat actually um, is a really, really big part of it. So you got to eat the right foods, but also the right amount is one of the most important parts of aging. Other social habits like smoking and drinking definitely increase the rate at which you age. Most of us know someone who has smoked for a long time or has been drinking for a long time or both. And you can just tell that they don't really look like they're what we call chronological age, right? So chronological age is merely how long you've been on this earth for. I was born on this day and today is 40 years later, so I'm, I'm 40 years chronologically. Biological age is actually looking at factors that determine how old you are in comparison to other people, right? So two people born on the same day who live different lifestyles can definitely have different biological ages, even though they're the same chronological age. So I think we're finding that it is possible to reverse one's biological age. There's a lot of time, money, and practice going into this right now. So NAD is something found in our body naturally, and we found that it diminishes with age. The problem with that is that NAD is vital in both mitochondrial function and energy production. The, I would say the kind of thought leaders in this field of longevity um, have some pretty good um, evidence to show us that we can slow down and even possibly reverse biological age.